so I, have you, did you see Oppenheimer, the movie? I haven't seen it yet. So it's pretty great, okay? Heard it's and, amazing. And, and, and so I read the book it's based on, which is also pretty amazing, okay? That was a case. You know, those guys, unbelievable. They just like, they, they looked inside the atom with their minds, right? It's unbelievable they figured out how this works. And then they took metal and they, they made the sun, okay? They made an explosion like the sun. They figured it out in a matter of years. It was so scary to people the threat that nuclear weapons pose that we actually kind of got it under control. We never used them again after 1945. Which is really astonishing. It's pretty amazing. So, pretty astonishing. So, so, so when, when the threat is obvious enough that like you can eliminate a city in seconds, our little lizard brains, we figure something out. The problem is with, with these viruses, it's a little more marginal, it's not as obvious. And so we have these people just continuing to mess around with them. I hate to take you off track, but when the nuclear bombs were first detonated uh, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and I think with some of the tests too, right after that is when people started seeing a lot of UFOs. Huh. That's like the folklore behind UFOs. They all started coming after 47. Huh. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. So I would ask you, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? When you see all this UAP stuff and all these people that are whistleblowers and they're talking about crashed retrieval programs where they could re recover crashed UFOs and back engineer them, like, so, what's going so on? So I'm not a believer in this. And let me tell you why. Please tell okay? me. You are an alien, okay? You okay. have super hyper advanced technology. You can you can go faster than the speed of light. You can get to Earth. You can figure out that this one little planet has other human beings or has other you know life forms on it that you want to go see, okay? Right. right. You do that, then you crash your stupid UFO into the desert, okay? Yeah, and, I, I and have a problem with that. One, one one more point on this, okay? What happened with the, the Titan submersible? Okay, that thing went down, and basically they knew. Right. Okay, within hours that it was blown up. Okay. Right. They still were human beings. We try to rescue other human beings. Okay. The aliens aren't going to try to rescue other aliens if there's been a crash. They're not going to try to come get them. So well, you tell me, you tell me why it's always in the desert in Arizona. They never show up at the White House. They never show up in Times Square. Why? There have been places um, where uh, large groups of people have seen it. And there, there was a place in um, Brazil. Uh, Virginia, Brazil, and there's a very interesting documentary about it uh, called Moment of Contact. And there was a crash, there was a, a crazy lightning storm, and there was a crash, and they claim that there was actual live beings. And one of these guys took one of these beings to a hospital, they refused it, brought it to another hospital. I think they wanted to bring it to a third hospital. The guy who is carrying this alien, supposedly, uh, but this is a fact, this guy died of some incurable bacterial disease that they had no hope of fixing. Like it just overcame his body and he was dead very quickly. And he was a young guy. I think he's dead in less than two weeks. And uh, they were attributing that to him carrying this fucking alien. So what happened to the, what happened to the body, the alien body? I don't know. They say that the United States Air Force uh, flew a jet, and this is in the documentary, they said it flew a jet to Virginia, Brazil to recover whatever this thing was because they have a you know recover retrieval program I, who the fuck knows man i f every time i even say it i sound so dumb i listen to myself <laughs> like you believe this do you believe this but i th i do think we just crashed an f-35 that's true there's a guy that had a fucking eject out of his jet and they're like hey if anybody sees one of our 800 million dollar jets <laughs> call this hotline <laughs> but this is what i'm saying <laughs> But like that's us nothing. and that's the pinnacle of like modern technology maybe if you just have their saucers over washington <laughs> dc what year was that jamie 52. 1952. yeah it was a, a newspaper article uh, where yeah. they had they apparently they, they shot photographed it, right? yeah someone no. tried to shoot at one but what does that mean what does that mean and you know when when someone tells a story like that you know maybe they did see something i mean how much of it do they remember how much have they embellished <sighs> How so high were they hard. at the time? <laughs> but there are fighter jets. <laughs> fighter jets that have encountered them. I, I believe those guys. Sober, yes. sober, like American heroes. Yes. Like David Fravor. Yes. That story is insane. But I, t I tend to think more than ever that it's a drone and that there's some sort of a drone program that they've kept secret. 
that okay, is that insanely I'll believe. Sure. powerful. That I'll believe. And if I had a drone program that can do wild shit, like go hypersonic speeds and hover st dead still in midair and operated without any visible method of propulsion, I would start talking about aliens too. I'd be like, dude, they're here. We don't even know what they are. They're off-road vehicles, like or uh, excuse me, uh, off-world vehicles. <laughs> So we, and then people would go, oh yeah, aliens are here. But meanwhile, what it is is we have super sophisticated tech that your tax dollars have paid for without you having any idea it exists. Well, okay. for your own protection. So you don't believe in aliens? I do and I don't. Well, I do in you know, of course, there's the Fermi paradox. Like if they're out there, where are they? Well, how can we haven't seen them? But we, how much can we look? That's like a guy poking his head out of a tent, going, "I don't see any bear." <laughs> like, bro, how true. fucking much do you look at? That's true. How much are you really paying attention? There's a hundred billion stars in this galaxy alone. There's hundreds of billions of galaxies in the known universe. Like, what are you talking about? Like, where have we looked? I'm not saying they're not out there. I'm just saying they're not interested in us. <laughs> well, I most certainly think they would be interested in us. I most certainly, we like, <laughs> we, like, who are these fucking idiots? Right. Well, the same way we go to the Congo and. <laughs> filmed for chimp empire it's really not that much different the same way we go to butterfly habitats and study butterflies like human beings are fascinated by some of the most primitive of creatures yes you know a, a long thought instinct fox becomes a major news story amongst uh, academics when when people can go and travel to exotic places and especially biologists and study these animals you know like you ever read Sapolsky's work with the baboons oh. fascinating stuff uh, Sapolsky who's uh, he's from Stanford right in Stanford uh, just brilliant guy who's done all this crazy work about toxoplasmosis are you aware of that toxoplasmosis is nuts it's one of the reasons why they tell women to not um, handle kitty litter Toxoplasmosis is a cat parasite that grows in a cat's gut, and when it gets on rats, it rewires the rat's sexual reward <laughs> system and make the rats sexually attracted to cat urine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it removes their fear of cats so that the cats devour the rats <laughs> because the only way that, that that parasite can reproduce is inside a cat's gut. So the para parasite reproduces inside the cat's gut, comes out in cat shit, and then people get it. And people get it from cat shit. You might get it from an open wound, you might get it from handling it, but when people get it, it makes them more reckless. He said there's a disproportionate number of motorcycle victims, huh. crash victims that are, are toxoplasmosis infected. Huh. At one point in time, France was like 50% of the people <laughs> had toxoplasmosis. Isn't that wild? <laughs> that is wild. And it changes behavior. It affects behavior. Okay. I did not know any. And of it's this. a fucking parasite that like half a population of a country had. 